Hi yogis, today I'm going to be taking you through an energizing morning flow, opening out the heart, creating some gentle back bends. When you're ready, meet me back here. So we'll start today's practice in a child's pose at the back of your mat. Take the big toes together to touch, sink the hips down to the heels, then walk the hands away from you, reach for the top of the mat. Bow the head down, relax the forehead either into the mat, or if it's a little further away, then place it on a block or a book. Take this time to arrive to your practice today. Let go of any worries or doubts any feelings or emotions that do not serve you. Take these next 25 minutes to really immerse in yourself, be present within this practice. Take a full round of breath here, breathing in through the nose, part the lips and sigh out of the mouth. Then with your next inhale, come up onto the hands and the knees, find tabletop position. Just adjusting yourself so wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, open out the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, chin draws to chest, puff up the back of the heart, draw the belly button in. Inhale, chin lifts, tail lifts with it. Exhale, round through to cat, spread the shoulder blades apart. Deep breath in to open out. And exhale, contract, round through, curl the tailbone underneath you. One more round, inhale, open. Exhale to cat. At the bottom of your exhale, start to flatten through the spine, neutral tabletop. Then walk the fingertips towards the top of the mat and melt the heart downwards towards the mat for puppy pose. The forehead can drop here or for a more intense stretch throughout the shoulders, plant the chin down, take the gaze to the top of the mat. If you feel you need more space within the shoulders, within the chest, then take the hands to the outer corners of your mat. Inhale, expand through the rib cage. Notice the sides of the body lengthen. Exhale, settle into your shape. With your next inhale, press into the palms to lift the chest. Then ripple the thighs, the hips and part of the belly down to the mat. Bend in the elbows, forearms just out in front of you for sphinx pose. Drop the ears to the shoulders here. Notice the disengagement. Then press into the tops of the feet to lift the kneecaps. Pull the forearms towards you to open the heart through. Find length through the whole of the neck. Pause, inhale, then as you exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Chin then rolls round to the chest and take the left ear to the left shoulder. Repeat this over to the right and back to the left a few more times. Pause in areas that feel good or that feel stiff or stuck. And maybe take those half circles over to the back to find a stretch within the throat. Allow the head to come back to neutral with an inhale, then lower the belly and the chest down to the mat. Take the fingertips to the sides of the ribs, then with your next inhale, press into them to lift up to more of a cobra position. Lower with an exhale. Inhale to lift back up, open out. Take the hands or the feet wider if you feel pressure within the low back. 
Inhale to lift, rippling up, head lifts last. Exhale to lower, nice fluid motion. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, see if you can grow a little taller, really open out the chest. Exhale to lower back down. Final one, inhale. Exhale. Then we'll press into the palms, lift yourself up, tuck the toes under, hips up and back for downward facing dog. Find a position that's comfortable here, bend in the knees as much as you need to. Go careful on your hamstrings, especially if you are practicing in the morning. With an inhale, come up onto the balls, the feet start to ripple forwards to a high plank position. Shoulders stack on top of the wrists. Exhale, hips glide back, find downward facing dog. Inhale to the tippy toes, ripple forwards, high plank rolling forwards. Exhale, glide it back, downward facing dog. Inhale to high plank, really exaggerate this movement. Exhale, glide it back. We'll pause in downward facing dog for a few breaths, so take any movements to help you settle further here. Maybe pedaling out the feet or nod the head yes and shake it no. Inhale to lift the gaze to the top of the mat, take some small baby steps here to find a forward fold. Soft bend in the knees. Hinge from the hips, allow the body to hang. Any tension from the face, maybe the jaw or the forehead to drop. And with your next inhale, start to roll up to standing, climb the ladder of the vertebrae. Roll the shoulders back and away from the ears. Stand tall and really root through the feet. Find your center. Then inhale, reach the fingertips around and up. The gaze can follow. Exhale, hands come to heart center, prayer position. Inhale, reach the fingertips. Find length through the sides of the body. Exhale, thumbs to chest. One more reach, inhale, grow as tall as you can. Exhale, bend in the elbows, lift the heart, cactusing the arms here. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, hinge from the hips and fold forwards. Inhale, peel the chest away from the thighs, lift the gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands and step the left foot to the back of the mat. Lower the knee down, then reach the fingertips up for low lunge. Yogi's choice to keep the back toes tucked or untucked. Take an inhale, inflate the ribs, lift up out of the waist, interlace the fingers. Exhale, bend in the elbows, take the hands behind the head, then lift the heart with your next inhale. Really open out the elbows to the side here, squeeze the shoulder blades to lift the heart even further, creating that soft back bend within your low lunge. Take an inhale to lift, Exhale, come back to center, lower the hands down to frame the foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, then step to the top of the mat to find forward fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, reach the fingertips. Exhale, hands come to heart center, prayer position. Another reach, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, hands lower. Final reach, take a big breath in. Then as you breathe out, bend the elbows, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Exhale, melt forwards over the thighs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, peel the chest. Exhale, fold deeper. Root the hand, step the right foot this time to the back of the mat, lower the knee down, choice to untuck the toes. Reach the fingertips, low lunge. Drive the energy of the hips forwards and down. Make sure the core is engaged by sucking the belly button in and up. Take an inhale, interlace the fingers. Exhale, hands cradle the back of the head. Inhale, puff up the chest. Shoulders create a shelf for the heart. Just opening out as much as feels comfortable here. Try not to lean back into the shape and completely disengage all of your muscles. Make sure you're squeezing the inner thighs and keeping that core engaged. Inhale, lift the spine to neutral. Exhale, root the hands down. 
Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee and step the left foot to the back of the mat. We'll find downward facing dog this time. Spread the fingertips wide and make sure you're pressing evenly into the palms. Inhale the right leg up, find three legged down dog. Exhale, bend in the knee and stack the hips on top of each other, squeezing that right heel into the glutes. Take a breath in, lift the knee. Then as you breathe out, hug the knee into the chest, draw the knee to the nose and step the foot in between the palms. Reach the fingertips up to find high lunge. Engage the inner thighs as if you're bunching up the mat in between the legs. Find an inhale, then as you exhale, bend in the elbows, lift the heart, cactus the arms. Exhale, start to reach the fingertips forward. Allow that chest to become near enough parallel to the mats. Inhale, open to cactus arms. Exhale, reaching forwards. Another inhale to lift, open out the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale it all out as you reach for the top of the mat. Get light on the back toes and when you're ready, step to the top of the mat, keeping both knees bent for chair or plane. Arms come alongside the sides, reaching for the back of the mat. With your next inhale, reach the arms up, extend through the knees. Exhale it all out, hands come to heart center. Press into the right sole of the foot, then inhale the left knee into the chest, arms reach overhead. With your next exhale, send the left toes towards the back of the mat, arms come alongside the body, extend through the left knee, aeroplane pose. Pause for a breath in, then as you breathe out, softly land the left toes behind you, reach the fingertips up, inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten through the front knee, arms alongside the shoulders. Exhale, lead with the heart as you fold forwards over that right leg. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten through the spine. Exhale, fold deeper over the leg for modified pyramid pose. Take a deep breath in, then as you breathe out, start to bend into the right knee. Root the hands down and step the right foot to the back of the mat, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high, taking that flow over to the other side, three-legged down dog. Squeeze the glute lift high, then as you exhale, bend in the knee, stack the hips on top of one another. Flex through the foot, draw the heel into the glutes. Take a breath in, lift the knee. As you breathe out, knee comes to nose and set the foot in between the palms. Reach the fingertips with an inhale, high lunge. Draw the belly button in, engage the core. Inhale, reach tall, create space within the waistline. Exhale, cactus the arms. Pause for a breath in and as you breathe out, reach the fingertips forwards as if you're moving through honey. Inhale to lift and open out the heart. Gaze can follow if your balance is good today. Exhale, reach for the top of the mat. Final round, inhale, open. Exhale to reach. Get light on the back toes, stepping to the top of the mat, chair or plane. Focus on the breath as we find a moment of stillness. Be present here. Inhale to standing, reach the fingertips up overhead. Exhale, hands come to prayer position. Inhale the right knee into the chest, reach the arms up overhead along with it. As you exhale, send the right toes to the back of the mat, arms alongside the body, aeroplane. Find your balance as the chest lowers. Inhale, exhale, soften in the left knee, land the right toes behind you. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten through the front knee, arms alongside the shoulders, lead the heart, go as slowly as you can, melt forwards. Take an inhale, halfway lift, peel the chest away from the thigh. Exhale, round deeper into this hamstring stretch. As this is a modified pyramid pose, the back heel can lift as much as you need to. 
We'll take one more full round of breath here, breathing in through the nose and release out of the mouth. Then with your next inhale, shift the weight forward, bend into the left knee. Plant the hands and step back into your downward facing dog. Tilt the pelvis to send the hips even higher. Press into the palms. Then with your next inhale, right leg reaches, three-legged down dog. Exhale, bend in the knee, stack the hips. And here you have the option to flip your dog, lowering the right foot over to the left side. Come into wild thing. Staying on the right ball of the foot, reaching the fingertips over for a beautiful heart opener. A great energizing pose for your morning practice. Use your next inhale and your core to collect yourself. Find three-legged downward facing dog. Knee to nose as you exhale, step the foot in between the palms, reach the fingertips up, high lunge. Settle into your shape, soften in the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, bend in the elbows, puff up the heart, breath in, breathe out, reach for the top of the mat. Get light on the back toes, then step the feet together, chair a plane. Inhale to sweep the fingertips up and draw the left knee into the chest straight away. Find that balance, inhale, exhale, aeroplane, dive the body down, inhale. Exhale, softly land the left toes behind you, reach the fingertips, high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten through the front knee, dive yourself down, melt over the right leg. See if you can fold a little deeper this time. Then with your next inhale, shift forward to that runner's lunge, step back, downward facing dog. Take that flow over to the other side, inhale the left leg up, three-legged down dog. Exhale, bend in the knee, stack the hips. And again, you have the option to move into your wild thing. Keep the right leg straight here as the left knee bends. Open out the heart, inhale. Exhale. Use your next inhale to gather yourself back up, finding that three-legged down dog with the left leg raised. Then exhale, hug the knee into the chest, set the foot down. Reach the fingertips high lunge. Settling into the legs, then with your next exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart, open out. Inhale, exhale, reach for the top of the mat, get light on the back toes. Step to chair plane, sink the hips low. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, right knee hugs into the chest. Find your balance, find your core. Exhale, right toes, go towards the back of the mat, aeroplane. Soften in the left knee to land the toes behind you, reach the fingertips. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten through the left knee, melt over the leg for modified pyramid pose. Try to wrap that left hip back to keep the hips square. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend into the knee, then step back into your downward facing dog. Find stillness for a deep breath in, deep breath out of the mouth. Then with no rush whatsoever, start to make your way into a child's pose. Whether you'd like to take the knees out wide or keep the legs in together, find a pose that's comfortable for you. Slow the heart rate down by deepening the breath. And not only have we moved through a fast paced flow, but when we open out the heart, the heart rate speeds up. So use this time to slow everything down to find that settling. And when you're ready, start to walk the hands into the body to lift yourself up to seated on heels. Now I'll take you through a series of back bends here. So just taking whichever variation is best, there's three different options. Starting with the first level, just take the hands behind you with the fingertips pointing to the top of the mat. And with your next inhale, lift the hips away from the heels, maybe tilt the head back to open out the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades. If the neck starts to tire, you can draw the chin to the chest. 
Second option is to come to standing on the knees, take the hands behind the back with the fingertips tracing down just to the low spine. Squeeze the elbows into one another, squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the heart up to the ceiling, maybe tilt the head back. Try not to put too much pressure in the low spine by pushing the hips forward, creating a more forceful action. Then if you'd like to go even deeper, level three is just taking the hands down to the ankles or to the heels and opening out into this beautiful full camel pose. Really take time in choosing which is best for you. Make sure that the body feels good in each pose. Take one more full round of breath wherever you are. And when you're ready, start to come out of the pose the way that you came in, slowly and softly, and take a seat back down on the heels. Arms then come alongside the legs and you can fold forwards, drop the forehead down. This soft and gentle rounding of the spine is just helping to counteract that deep back bend we've just taken. Then press into the palms to lift yourself up to your seat. Sway to one side and swing the legs out in front of you. Shuffle forward towards the top of the mat, keeping a gentle bend in the knees. Arms come alongside the legs, then using the core, lower each vertebrae down into the mat. Try to slow down here in the areas that you want to speed up in as you lower down. Now once you've fully lowered, keep the bend in the knees and bring the heels a little closer into the glutes. Press into the soles of the feet with your next inhale to send the hips high, finding a bridge pose. Now you can take a few variations with the arms, whether you'd like to leave them alongside the body, or you can interlace the hands just underneath and shimmy the shoulder blades in. Really squeeze the shoulder blades and the palms together. Or to open out the heart even further, reach the arms back behind you overhead. We'll pause for one more breath in, breathe into the belly, exhale, lower each vertebrae back down. Release whatever arm position you have. Now I'll take two more back bends. So you have the option to take two more bridge poses or come to a full wheel where you bring the hands just by the shoulders, fingertips tracing down towards the feet. Press into the soles and into the palms to lift yourself up. It may feel nice just to pause once the head is lifted and then if you have the strength you can press up into this full wheel shape. Make sure the glutes and the legs are engaged to protect the low spine and only take this shape if it feels right. We'll take another breath in then as you breathe out start to lower out of the shape the way that you came in. And keeping the knees bent, just find a flat spine, ground it into the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose and release out of the mouth. Then when you're ready, we'll take your final back bend. Depending on how you're feeling, find the variation that suits you. If you've come to another wheel pose and would like an added challenge, play around with picking one foot off the mat and extending it up to the ceiling. Make sure you try with both legs. One may feel more wobblier, more harder than the other, but just make sure you're nice and even. Wherever you are, take one more full round of breath. Then again, Start to come out of the shape the way that you came in. Lower the spine, find that grounding, that neutral position, keeping the knees bent. It might feel nice to hug the knees into the chest here and rock from side to side to massage out the spine. Then with your next inhale, curl into the smallest ball possible, tense all of your muscles, even scrunching up the face. Then as you exhale, completely release into a laying position. Start to hug the right knee into the chest, wrap the fingertips around the shin. Take the knee over to the left side of the mat, finding a twist in the body. Right arm comes alongside the shoulder. Gaze can look up to the ceiling or over to the right palm. 
Here you have the option to bend into the left knee and maybe take a hold of the left foot with that right hand. This just slightly intensifies the twist and also adds a quad stretch, feeling sensation in the top of the left thigh. Take one more cycle of breath, breathing in through the nose and out of the mouth. Then when you're ready, release the hold of that left foot and bring the right knee back into center. Give it one last big squeeze, inhale, exhale to release alongside the left leg. Taking it over to the left side, hug the left knee in. Take your twist, left knee over to the right side. Taking the gaze wherever is comfortable and again, option to bend into the right knee to add that quad stretch. As you breathe in, allow the belly and the chest to fill with air. Exhale to let it all go. Release any tension you may be holding within the facial muscles or any other parts of the body. One more round of breath, sending the inhale all the way down to the belly and exhale out completely. Then release the hold of that right foot and bring the left knee back into center. Again, give it one last big squeeze before releasing the leg alongside the other coming to your final Shavasana. Now, if there's any other little poses or movements that you'd like to take to help you settle into this final shape, this final posture, then now is your time to do so. You can grab some blankets, maybe something to put over the eyes or some cushions to get yourself comfy for your next few moments here. Allow the body to become heavy, the breath to be deep. These will probably be the deepest breaths of your day, so make the most of them. Be present in this moment. Stay here for as long as you need to. Try not to rush into the rest of your day. Be present and enjoy these next few moments. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I hope you feel energized and ready to take on the rest of your day. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it really supports my channel. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this practice. There's more to come. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.